Okay guys, I'm back. I'm going to scroll down to Pattern Focus to find the next pattern that starts with an S for this week. We're going to go to Servering. Oh shoot, I need to change my, I need to change my background color. Well, tomorrow. I'll change my background color tomorrow. I think tomorrow is supposed to be, I know I'm going to be, uh, I'm a week off, but yeah, tomorrow is supposed to be February 1st. Okay. Sir, serve ring. This looks interesting. Okay. This might be one of those ones that's a bit more of a challenge. We'll have to see. This is what we're aiming for. I'd like to sometimes see what we're aiming for first. This and that. I really like this. Whatever that is. That's a variation. I need to figure out how to do that because I like that. I see it here too. This green. I like that. Okay. So what are we doing? This is a uh, one by Karen Klangmeyer. First step might be the trickiest step is we're going to make sort of a, a very shallow S backwards S shape. and then aura it. So it's kind of like a little leafy sort of shape like that. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. Okay. So we're gonna make this sort of soft shape and then come around and echo that like that. And then from the top of one to the bottom of the other, this way, we're going to make another soft curve. And then from the top of here to the bottom there, we're going to go this way. Now, if I'm going to make that variation, which I really like, Have to figure out which of these curves is this because it's different okay I will figure it out okay so so this, this soft curve here and then this one coming down like this so this one almost makes it up and down and up and down sort of a thing and then this one makes this soft curve so it's like a curve and a soft curve Then, we're going to connect the tops with a loop. And then do this and shade. And you end up with this, which is also very, very cool. But somehow, this is different. So what part is... I'm trying to look at the variation. So this first step, step number two on the variation is to make this orid. So I'm going to probably do that. Maybe not for both, all of it, but for some of it. So let's give this a go. Turn on my light. Close your eyes, everybody. Ah, this is the worst part. Okay, today's wasn't too bad. Some days are better than others. Depends on how dark it is outside, I think. Okay. So, what do I want to do? I need a pencil. I need a pencil so I can make a... Make myself a border. 
like that. And then I'm going to make sort of a soft S shape for my grid. I've got too many of them here. Need to erase. Let me try that again. Don't want it quite in the middle. Something like that. And on one side, I'm going to do the the standard one, the 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 way it has the step out. And on the other side, I'm going to do the um, the variation. I'm going to try that. Maybe we'll see. In order to get them kind of, sort of, even, I'm going to put a, another line there. Okay, so step one is sort of this soft S shape like that. Sort of a backwards S. Backwards S? No. A frontwards S. It's not backwards. Backwards would be the other way. Oh, it's an S shape. It's just soft and lazy. I'm going to do one more. You would not see that and you would see this. You would not see that, but you would see this. Then I'm going to do this first one just like the step out. So then the next step is to do another soft curve like that. And you won't see that because that's going elsewhere. Matter of fact, since I have to have such a strong border might as well draw the darn thing. I don't know why I don't just start with drawing the border. Although, because sometimes I don't want one. I never know. But when it's a shape like this, I should know that I'm going to want a border. Okay. And then I'm going the other way. From here down to here like this. That. Here you would come about there. Okay. And then I'm going to connect these with a bump. I'm a little bit big with my bump. That's all right. <clears throat> and then these get an echo like this. Holy guacamole. I'm all congested again today. It's that darned wind and allergies. 
Well, I must say, I feel way better today than I did on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, I felt just awful. I don't know if you live in a windy area, but if you do, have you ever gone into your bathroom during a wind and noticed that the water in the toilet bowl moves up and down based on the gusts of wind? Don't know if you've ever noticed that. If you if you happen to be somewhere where it's windy, check it out. It does. Your toilet bowl totally goes up and down based on the wind. Well, that's what my sinuses are doing <clears throat> inside my head. Every time there's a gust of wind. And it gives me just such a headache. Crazy, crazy headache. Well, that's interesting. I want to. I want that variation. I want to see what that variation does. Um, I want to fill the whole thing somehow. try that <clears throat> and then this one instead of just being a line is a shape like that Yeah, I think so far I'm doing fine, doing fine. And then on the variation, <coughs> we then go behind like that. like that. This one looks like it's missing something. It's missing the one that would be coming this way. Like so. Yeah. Okay. And then... this
like that. Finding my paper bouncing a little bit, so I have to pull, hold it down more. Very interesting. This is very zen. Putting me in the mood. Lines, lines, and more lines always put me in the mood. And then this one would be I was thinking to do the rest of it like they have in the sample, but I kind of like it just like that. I think I'm going to leave that. Over here, i got to do something in this little corner because it looks funny. To me, it looks funny. needs a little aura. Like so. Now it needs some shading to make it pop. This one is called Servering. Okay, 
Let's do a little shading, shall we? This one gets shaded here. I want to do that. Okay. Something like that. Let's blend that first and then see what else I want to shade. I want Oh yeah. Okay. And now I think I need some highlights. Now that with the toned paper, you can do both low lights and highlights, you can do shadows and, 
and a little highlighting which is cool I don't want a lot I just want a little bit in here Oh, that makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. I need a little bit right there. Oh, look at that. Ah, I love it. Okay, my white pencil is now going to get a lot of use. I haven't used it hardly at all in the past, but now it is going to get a lot of use. Look at that. Ha, ah, I love it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm sorry I was a little quiet, but that's what happens when I'm really having fun. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.